here we are. I wheeled the comfrey over and I want to talk about putting it in our tub. So when you pick it, you're gonna see, and let's not put my phone in there. <laughs> I lose that all the time. Let's not put burnt leaves, yellow leaves, put those at something that needs some just, you know, compost. Just set them on the, put them on a grapevine. But dig them out of there, guys. I don't want dead, I don't want burned. We want perfect. We are making a comfrey tea. We want it to be loud and ob obnoxious. We want it to be as powerful as it can be. And to do that, um, we can't start with sickly, you know, like we are in this world. Oops, <laughs> I said it. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I usually go through it pretty good. I think I picked most of them out when I was over there. And you're all going to find it's only the bottom leaves. And you know what you can do with that? While you're picking, you're already seeing there's some yellow. Leave the bottom leaves, chop and drop, as I say. Hmm. Leave them at the comfrey plant on the ground. You know, the comfrey wants nourishment too, even though it draws up from the soil. It still needs compost. It's not like it's like, oh, totally ignore me and hate me and I still love you. <laughs> There's nothing in the world like that, guys, including comfrey. So I think we pretty much got most of them. And then what we're gonna do is gonna ram them in the drum. I'll kind of show you guys. And this may not be enough because this looks like a lot till I start packing them in and they kind of just sit on each other and squash down. Okay, first load's going in. Here we go, guys. In, boom. Let's see, any more yuckies here? They look pretty good to me. Look pretty good. Emil's still fishing, so we're doing great. <laughs> Another load, guys. And remember, this was seven of my plants, and this was uh, the first cutting of the season, so we should get many more um, because we're April 29th. So we're pretty early, pretty much May 1st. Oh, there's a couple yellows. Let me get those guys out. I don't want the grass because, you know, I'm a snob and I only want my comfrey. Okay. There's that. Oh, I see another yellow. Uh, the flowers. Yes, guys, I put the flowers in. They go in. <laughs> now, buddy, we're filling it up. Huh? We're filling it up, aren't we? We're almost done. Okay, this is gonna be a beautiful batch. And like I say, I mean, you don't have to. So what I love about making this when it's hot and sunny like this is the heat is gonna work with it. And you can see I'm coming up to the top here. <laughs> We're gonna shove all of this in guys. And eventually we'll give you a video, guys, on feeding it to your livestock. So you maybe feel a little bit more confident in making that decision. I know a lot of you are, you know, like I was at the beginning. It's amazing how many years I didn't do something because of what I read on the internet. And no one could make me feel good about my decision. Everybody was just as scared. Somebody has to take the leap of faith. And it was me. And then once I did, I realized so many other people uh, had taken it too, and all we had was good things to say. So you realize, well, what'd you lose your toy? Let's see. Yep, you did. There it is. <laughs> you didn't even catch a fish here. There it is. We got to keep him playing too, guys. You know how that is. <laughs> babies and babies, we don't let them stop us, but we do have to sweat a little wow. bit more. I see that. Yeah, you got it. Let's see. Come here, show me. Ooh, yeah. What about this one? We do this. Yeah. Go get oh, it. Look. There it is. There it is. Okay, <laughs> almost done, guys. Ooh. Oops. That was a big one. And yes, uh, it's scratchy. I was just telling Rhea here. Um, if you're not used to the feeling, do it at dusk or early in the morning. If you're affected by it. Um, it's a little itchy because it's like boorish, if you guys know what that is. Um, personally, I just make myself deal with it because it's hot here and I can't be changing my clothes 19 times and taking showers. <laughs> There's just too many things to be done. Yeah. I used to have a partner um, and it was cute because she was so irritated about the tomato plant, she couldn't take it. She'd always be like, I gotta go home and shower. <laughs> and I was like, man, I hate it too, but you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Okay, if you wanna come take a peek, I'm gonna get the hose and we're gonna fill this up, guys. Yeah, let's fill it up, Emil, and let's 
play with some water. Huh? I'm gonna get your, oh, oh, you got your socks on. I was gonna get your feet wet, but. <laughs> oh, of course we have a kink in the hose, so hold up. <laughs> Need some help? We purposely. Did you get it? We purposely buy pre-kinked hoses. My husband and I laugh because we buy the hoses that say no kinks, but they come pre-kinked at every foot interval for some reason. <laughs> um, it's our big joke because we should own a hose company, not a farm, because <laughs> we go through so many. So, water straight from the well, 500 feet down into glaciers. Just kidding, it's not, it's granite. Gotta love granite water though, this is filtered stuff. Uh, I almost gagged. <laughs> That's some good water. Okay, so, where'd my little hot buddy go? Oh, there he is right next to me. So now guys, while Emil is making soup, <laughs> and the good news is, buddy, good job. Keep feeding that for me. So he already knows, if you guys can tell, that we got it on this, that we've been bottling we got to refill it too. I mean, we can empty it to nothing, but guess what else you can do right now? Put coffee back in it and fill it up with water. Then you get it twice as quick. So when you do a fill on the go, where it's our re refeeding, refeeding, and you can only do that over summer, it's pretty fantastic. You just have it come and you can drink it like tea for breakfast if there's so much of it. You wouldn't because it stinks, <laughs> remember, but it's pretty funny how fast you can recuperate it. And So we're just trying to teach him exactly that, that this isn't bad, mm -hmm. you know, we're not being a bad boy. There's good things. So when you have that dirty little kid that wants to do some stirring and kitchen stuff and you don't want him near the house, make some coffee tea. You'll be amazed how much they love this stinky stuff. <laughs> it's almost like the stinkier it is, the more he wants to play in it. Mm -hmm. If it was fresh water, he'd probably be bored in a few minutes. He'd be like, oh. It's too clean. <laughs> yeah, it's too clean. So. We're just filling this up, guys. You can see now, remember, uh, this might be, I think a 50 gallon drum, or I don't know what this is, maybe 70. Um, but I'm going to start offering it to the farm's can because I have a lot of customers and you can do this to your neighbors or if you have a farm stand. Um, not trying to give you guys my ideas, but <laughs> you know, this is something a lot of people can use. And the truth is not everybody's gonna grow it, but they want it. Mm -hmm. So why does everybody have to grow it? They really don't. I supply so much of it at my farm. I certainly don't ma mind making it and selling it in gallon jugs. Of course, you're going to pay more than the, it's just growing, but you know, 20 bucks a gallon or whatever the heck, I haven't sold any yet, by the way, <laughs> whatever I decide to sell it for. Um, remember, it's so concentrate. This is going to last forever for someone. I mean, a woman with two house plants, my gosh, she might have it for the rest of her life. <laughs> um, so it just allows everybody to get a taste of what a, con a tea, we won't even say comfrey tea, because you can make any tea, remember? We discussed in the other videos, huh, Emil, that anything you guys have, a plantain, you know, thistle, miner's lettuce, I don't give a hootie, whatever the heck it is, if it's growing tall and big and you can pluck it out, use it, because it is fantastic for this. And this is going to be a nice, good batch. You saw I went about three quarters of the way up. Mm -hmm. um, don't go higher. You can. You can pack it to the brim. Personally, it takes a long time to break that one down. Um, so maybe if you've already got one you're working on, yeah, pack, pack a bunch of them to the brim if you've got the time. But they do take a little bit longer when you don't have that space. I just want to jump in this, guys. It's so hot out here. I'm ready to shoot Rhea with the hose, myself, <laughs> and Emil but we might attract more bugs because um, San Diego is turning into Mississippi now with rain. And so <laughs> approaching May, remember we're supposed to be high desert out here in zone 9A. The bugs love us and we were dry. So the good news is they don't like it. Well, those Louisiana bugs found their way out to San Diego because they heard we had lots of rain. <laughs> so now it's like walking through a jungle. I, some of these things I've never even seen before. <laughs> But again, we're organic, so we embrace the bugs and all the, the things that come with, but it definitely uh, can make you be Buddha on trying to get past, you know. I know my legs feel like I just walked through uh, prickly bushes. The good news is, uh, and let's see, do I even have any bumps? I was showing Rhea, I don't even have any now. So 
I found if you guys can avoid the antihistamines, to be honest, um, I, I did a lot of research from 1995 till like almost like five years ago on vitamin C. And if you ever want to learn more about vitamins and minerals, go to orthomolecularorg.com. I make no money from them, but it's an asset in my life. And what it does is those are medical studies that you're not going to ever find. Um, they don't want you to see them. They want you to search really hard like I did. And when you find them, they're free to everybody. And they tell you how vitamin A just fixed someone's heart. And these are doctor studies. This is real deal stuff. So I studied vitamin C and guess what the number one thing it, it does? It's an antihistamine. So if you can get yourself the crank in 20,000 milligrams, you know, mm -hmm. 20 grams, get a crystallized powder C, yeah, absorbic acid, uh, till you fart and get a stomach <laughs> ache because that's called a saturation dose. And when you get there, um, it's an extremely healing thing that starts to occur. You can't just do it one time. You have to do a regimen, you know, you'll find those allergies are going to go away, but it is a regimen like anything. This world doesn't let us just do it once or twice. It teases us and makes us do it, you know, for 30 days or more. But you'll find a lot of relief if you're in the garden itching your buns off because it's pretty much been my whole life and sometimes it's worse than others. But that's where I go is vitamin C, huh? We go to vitamin C. Yeah. So <laughs> looks like we're almost done, aren't we, Emil? He's such a good boy. Look <laughs> at this, guys. We are almost to the top. Now this is packed in. I mean, I didn't stand on it, but I could have, huh? Come here, you want to feel? Now let's let me, Emil get his hand wet. Ooh. Woo! Woo! Anderson. Woo! Woo! We had to cool his hands down a little. <laughs> huh? Did that feel good? He likes the water. What kid doesn't? <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised he hasn't taken a swim in the the comfrey tea, but it might heal him, to be honest. I don't know, I was thinking my sore ankle, maybe I'd soak my feet in it tonight. <laughs> but I might not have a husband by the morning because my husband already hates the smell of pig on me. I have boots that he's like, you are not wearing those boots right now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this to the top, guys, and we're done. And I'd really like to think that you guys are gonna get out in the garden and do it yourselves. Like I say, you don't have to have this darn drum. You don't have to have that. You can do it as small as you want with one leaf, just for a test. But I go right up to the top here, don't we? Right up to the top, huh? Because I want to be reading and make as much as I can. Mm -hmm. All right. We're almost there, guys. It feels nice and cool and fresh. Okay. I think that's it. That's it. Comfrey tea from Emil and me. <laughs> <laughs> I 